I haven't moved. It's just starting the second run here. The new tables, let's have a look. It's a video camera. We, got, we have got a YouTube channel. So I come around here. I come here and do garage sales and op shops and and show all the stuff. It's called The Picking Family. A thousand videos up. And I just live around the corner from here, so I sort of know the people here and come here every, every time they have it on, basically. Well, well, yeah, yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Oh, I wouldn't imagine it would. But uh, I take cur it does. I, curb siding's been fantastic. That's when, like, in the Brisbane City Council, they say you can put stuff out yeah, once yeah. a year, and it's on the website, and you're allowed to go pick it up. It's, and we've been Same doing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they crush it. Yeah. So they, yeah. you know, anything we take stops the gun in the, into the ground. So, yeah. so that's been great because it was just at Brighton. So it's just over the Hornybrook Bridge. Yeah, yeah. So me and my girlfriend went out and me and my mate went out another time and yeah, we got some great stuff. So it's that, we're gonna to go to Nudgy this week. This is where it is. It Pick is up. amazing what people throw out. Yeah, we're absolutely. Like we're with the clothing and we look and we go, wow. I know. Yeah, well especially nowadays, like the kids, they're more minimalistic. They don't want the, no, the clutter of like my, gen well from my mum who went through the depression and you know, like when she passed, I found 200 of those cold snappy clips that you know keeps your bread safe I'm like mum what are you gonna do with 200 well, you never know son yeah. you know <laughs> stuff like that mum used to put rubber bands around the handles of the kitchen drawers yeah yeah and they'd be all these rubber bands that were perished it's starting to perish yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it, but i understood it I think. well we were 10 pound poms we come out here in 70 1971 from england so right. i think mum was a like you know Tough time through the war. Well, that's dead right in London, yeah. How did how did English survive that type of life? Yeah, well, Mum was spent a lot of time in the bunkers and stuff. Yeah, as a baby. Yeah. She was born. She was born in thirty one, so oh, right. she was still so very young. A vague memory. Yeah, yeah, she was young. Yeah. I better go up with my mate. Or I might get the sack. <coughs> Belt this is good. Look, did you see that? No. Nope. Didn't think so. Old Foley wear. I think this is, nobody wants them now. All the beautiful old china. Well, you could give it to the cat. <laughs> the cats would break it. <laughs> Don't talk about my cats, they annoy the hell out of me. They're my daughter's cats. Thank you. A lovely belt buckle wear never been used. Where's the belt buckle? What's Joan's um, late husband's. Oh, Yamaha, too. Mm. Yeah, well, all right, we're on for that. That and that. Oh, that and that. Well, that's yeah. a dollar. Yeah, we'll save five for the two. Right, done. John's belt buckle's gone to a good home. <laughs> yeah. It's a Yamaha. Oh. Give me your ten back and you can give me the five back. Yeah, when I find it where I put my money. I have done. RD250, I had. Thank you very much. Oh. All right. I always get some good little things. Me and my daughter will do that. We just did um, Harry Potter one the other day. Oh, yeah. So uh, we watched the. You want to keep that? No, oh, we're going to put one We'll do it. Yeah. Well, I don't put them on a board, so. Oh, no, but you know, things come up. Oh, people are collecting from Beatles. Oh, yeah, Beatles stuff. Like, we were just talking about the White Album. I've got. All the albums, yeah. the, the, the straight albums, not the ones that were released to Americans and stuff yeah. like that. The, the two, they only made two real EPs, Magical Mystery Tour and the other one, which I can't remember. So I've got them. I've got the Fan Club Records. Yeah. I've got the CDs. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's it. I'm not so who, who's anymore. your favourite Beatle? Ringo Starr. Ringo was, yeah, cool. Always. I saw him. Was he him? You saw him live? Hmm? You saw him live? Yeah. Where'd you see him? 
I've got, I've been the program next time. Oh, okay, yeah. Hammer, what? Hammersmith Odeon, Beatles second Christmas show, 1965. Oh, blue December the 30th. Before I was born. And it was 10 shillings the ticket, and I've still got that too. Oh, gee, See, well, what, that's good. What happened was, at Dad's work, they used to, the blokes used to... Can put I put your face on? Hmm? Can I put your face on camera? If you want. Yeah, okay. Just so they get a perspective of the talk, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, um, it was like, yeah, Dad's work, they used to take the, the older kids to a show, because well, we're in London. Yeah. And, he, and it was my last one, so he said, where do you want to go? I said, Beatles Christmas show. Oh. And they got the tickets, and even Dad saw it. He did go out for a fag a couple of times, and Jimmy Savile was the compare. Yep. And um, Jimmy Savile, uh, the, the noise was overwhelming, you couldn't hear anything. So he just came on, he put his hands up like that, shut everybody up he says this is the way it is either you shut up and let people hear the music or the show's over and then you'll go home and it worked and he had such a way about him that he was like yeah, a yeah. master to yeah, yeah, yeah. and the next band on was the Yardbirds with Eric Clapton yeah. 19. Yeah. Wow. and if you see this picture you couldn't even see today you can't see it's this boy it's the same person yeah yeah and uh, Freddie and the Dreamers opened. Oh, great. Um, we had Sounds Incorporated. We had a couple of ones that are known in England, uh, not over here. Um, so it was a good show and got the program. So 65, is that before they come to Australia? No, they came out in 64. 64, was it? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. They did come early, didn't they? Because they wouldn't have come. Yeah. They got them early, yeah. Because yeah. I know that people that I spoke to do, <laughs> were at those concerts, they said couldn't hear a thing. Because no. of screaming over the top well, of the girls. Well, this is what happened. So, so Sam will get them quiet. John Lennon, um, you remember, did you remember Coronation Street? Yeah, I remember Coronation Street. You know, Ina Sharples? Yeah, yeah. The lady that played Ina Sharples, yeah. she played the harmonium. And Beatles for Sale was out at that time. Yeah, yeah. And on one of the tracks, John was playing this exact harmonium. Anyway, played it on stage. Oh, you mean the one that was on yeah. the Coronation Street? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was her own personal yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. She used to do children's there yeah. on the radio. And anyway, um, now in the harmonium, yeah, he thought that people couldn't hear what he was singing. He did not sing the correct words, and I can uh. tell you. And it was more like a rugby song. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was a good one. I called that really well. That's great. Yeah. Well, I'll have to, next time, you can show me the video of you. No, I'll bring the program. That's what I mean, so I can video it. All oh, right. Yeah. Give him some relevance. All oh, right, okay. How are we going, Scoops? You looked at everything? Yeah, I bought anything. Go look at the cars over here. I mean, that's a really good story, Beatles story from that lady. All right, we'll get going then. And just do these cars. Yeah, I like the old cars. They like the old cars. Look at that one with all the with all the bottles on it. That's pretty cool. And there's Thomas models. Four bucks. Oops, I lost my Beatles. Got a belt buckle. Good thing. Yammer. Oh. Tribe Owners Club. This was kind of cool too. Oh, yeah, that's, that's been there for a while. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to buy things here. You know I buy things that don't make money on them. As long as we're doing some things. Now, some cakes. See what they got left. I've made money today. You have? <laughs> I love their rocky road. Let's see what the rocky road. Yes, they do. Just while I just to pick the best one, shall we? That one looks pretty good. It's good, isn't it? It is bloody good. We love it. It's so me and my daughter fight over it. Yeah, I've already got the text message. Get something sweet. I asked her if she wanted to come, but she's lazy. Oh, two of them. They are the, they are the, the bee's yeah. knees, aren't they? 
A health loaf. Health loaf for you, buddy? You don't want cakes? Is that we got last time? Do you think I should get another? Do you think I should, I should get another one, then, Jen, and get two rocky roads? Yes, Dad, get another one. Okay. <laughs> you gotta give me some change, though. I'm sorry. That's all right. So which one do you take? One? Just another one of them. Right. Did you end up grabbing that stuff off the shelf? Your at the front of my place had two jars of some chutney or something. Yeah, yeah. You did grab it? Yeah. Me and my mum used to make coconut ice and sell it when I was about nine. Right. A long time ago. Yeah, well, 15. Nearly 50, yeah, thank you. Nice. Yeah. That was just something fun I remember with my mother, that's so. all. Yeah. It's, it's good when little things remind you of... The oh, great it's things. If it's a good memory. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> we try and work on them. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, ladies. Enjoy. Have a good day. We're going to. What a beautiful day. We already have had a good day. Let's have a look at this stuff over here. What's that? A big... Is that like a swing or something, is it? Yeah, it's like you hang it up. And, and you, can, then... you can sit in it. Yeah, basically. Not me, because I'd break it, because I'm fat. But What do you want for that? How much you got on that? Twenty. Uh, Twenty, yeah, too much. Need ten. Yeah, I'll take it for ten. Ten, nah. All yours. Thanks, brother. Scooby's gonna grab it because I've got my, I got my little fucking fairy basket. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I won't be able to sit and I'll break it. <laughs> and if I. And if, Janet, if you eat this rocky road, you'll probably break it too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's just gigging my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. Where do we park? Just here. Hi guys, uh, we're going to head to another grab now and Scooby's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.